All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the daily update of my 1000 day challenge. Today is day 247, so let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, you'll notice the balance is actually down again. So two of my trades actually closed in terms of taking loss. So there is a reflector in terms of experimental trade setup. In terms of main trading setup, there is actually a small difference. And actually, there was both trade that was being taken for Bitcoin. The trailing stop loss was taken for both as well. So in other words, I actually took losses in some and I took profit in some. So it's sort of net off with still a little bit of losses due to transaction fee and stuff. So there's something to bear in mind. All right, otherwise, in terms of the market structure update, as you understand, today is a Sunday. So I'll just be looking at Bitcoin itself. Tentatively, we do have somewhat form of tentatively, so called looks to be a neutral market structure with a higher high and a lower low. However, do bear in mind that we've been going rather parabolic towards the upside, which is why I say that there is some sort of risk that we could have certain short term momentum and pullback. And seemingly we do, we are looking to see support at this 20 exponential moving average, which is a good sign because previously we see support over here and only when we break through here, we see some sort of very strong rejection over here. And similarly, when we break above here, we actually retested this once, twice, three times before we actually continue towards the upside. So if today we could actually consolidate over here nicely, we could, like what I mentioned, form a very nice long-term kind of a ascending triangle kind of a consolidation pattern. This would be like A, B, and then we have a C, D, and E before we actually make a decisive move upwards or downwards. So this is a potential setup that I do see. So yeah, of course you could see this as one, two, three, four, five, which tentatively could be as well. I mean, this will be a more aggressive type, but yeah, it could still be forming this way. So if we do form somewhat like this, then yeah. So we could retest later, we could book up, uh, we could push upwards over here again, and we get another rejection. We could find another retest of this 20 exponential moving average somewhere along here. And then we could make a decisive move either upwards or we could just break downwards and we could go right over here. There's 43,000 mark as well. So there's definitely two potential setup that could happen in itself. Otherwise, yeah, that's more or less about the major update I have for you guys today. If you and do bear in mind that what I mentioned on the weekly chart, we do see some sort of potential exhaustion or indecision over here, one, two, and potentially three weeks. So we could still consolidate for more in, in my, and in my personal opinion, it would be actually a good thing because we are letting the 20 exponential moving average catch up, which means to say that more people are actually buying at this price and more people will be more likely to actually keep buying at this price because they feel that this is something that, this is a price whereby it's worth for to pay in terms of Bitcoin at this current moment. It goes to show that the demand is there. However, if it actually goes too parabolic, it may goes to show that there is actually not many people buying at that price, in which case it's not as sustainable in that perspective. So otherwise, that's more or less a quick update I have for you guys today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Oh, and just before I conclude, just because I draw this doesn't mean that this has to play out. I'm just saying that this is a potential ascending triangle that could play out. And if it does play out accordingly to like this, then I'll be very interested to set a buy stop order above or below. But I'll be more likely to put a above order. But until time comes, I will not be putting any buy stop order at all this moment in time. In, in time. So yep, that's it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.